up guys my name is Nick and welcome back to another EA Star Wars Battlefront 2 video so for today's video I'm gonna be giving you guys the best class setup slash loadout for the hero Yoda in Star Wars Battlefront 2 so without further ado let's get right into the video so first off let's talk about the purpose of Yoda and really there is no purpose if you get Yoda via the battle points in game then your main role is to just kill enemies or help defend the objective that's pretty much all you can do as a hero and stay alive cuz yeah you don't want to die as a hero but Yoda's main abilities are unleash which is a force push pre-sense i don't know if i'm saying that right but it basically heals himself instantly in dash attack where he just does a leap attack at his enemies so what this class i was going to focus on is on yoda overall and the pre-sense ability so let's get right into this so when you first unlock yoda you get one card slots and that one card slot should be used to get the star card jedi mentor what this card does is it basically makes it where yoda gets less overall damage when you first get the card, the damage is reduced to 5%, and on the first upgrade, it's reduced to 6%, the second upgrade is reduced to 7%, and then the last upgrade, it is reduced to 8%. Now, the reason why I picked this card is because Yoda gets shot up a lot in Galactic Assault and Heroes vs. Villains. I don't know why, but for Yoda being super small, he's really easy for some people to target. And this card makes it where you get less damage. Why wouldn't you pick that in the first place? You get less damage than any other hero in the game. Just pick, like, this card is a necessity. Plus, it helps a lot if you're in saber battles with villains and they're stronger than you, aka <coughs> Carlo Ren, and you have to actually try so this card would really help in situations like that so once you reach level 5 on yoda then you get a second card slot and that second card slot should be used to get the star card lightsaber mastery so what this card basically does is when you're swinging your lightsaber you are drained less stamina so to break it down a little bit easier for you guys you can swing your lightsaber a little bit faster when you first get the card the decreased stamina is at a eight percent and then on the first upgrade it's at a ten percent and then at the second upgrade it's at a twelve percent and the last upgrade it's at fifteen percent so think about it like this you can swing your lightsaber once you get this card at an eight percent increase and then the first upgrade ten percent then second upgrade twelve percent and on the last percent you can swing your lightsaber at a fifteen percent extra speed increase now the reason why i picked this card is because you're yoda i don't know if you guys have ever tried using yoda without this card but yoda strikes pretty slow and it's not a big difference when you actually have this card but it's a difference to the point where you could actually compete with the other villains in their lightsaber wielding skills and you could do more hits so that's gonna help a lot and then once you hit level 10 on yoda you get one last card slot and that one last card slot should be used to get the star card feel the force now what this card basically does is it gives more health when you use precincts when you first get this card the bonus health is upgraded to 30 then on the first upgrade it's upgraded to 40 and then the second upgrade it's 50 and then the last upgrade you get 60 more bonus health when you activate presence. Now, the reason why I picked this card is because its predecessor basically made it where presence is activated longer. But have you ever activated presence at a time where you really didn't need it? Like, everybody activates presence or presence, I'm just gonna say presence, in a time where you're about to go straight into battle. So, I picked this one because it gives you more health than its predecessor which makes it active longer having more health is a better go-to than having it last longer because the whole point of presence is to use it when you're about to go into battle but guys that's basically pretty much it and if you guys do try out this loadout please comment down below your thoughts on it but other than that if you guys have any other loadouts you have for yoda please comment them down below i would really like to see them and they could possibly be better than my loadout too and i would like to try out some of your guys loadouts but if you guys like this video drop a like because it helps me on a ton and if you're new channel subscribe for more music content because i upload every monday wednesday friday and sunday and remember hit that bell and subscribe button so you don't miss an upload also i will pop a card to this series playlist right about now this series playlist is called the best battlefront 2 class setups slash loadouts but i really recommend checking out this playlist if you're having trouble on good cards to pick for the classes because the videos are short 
and simple and I go straight to the point on what are the best cards to use. And just note that these are the cards that I use when I use these classes and they work every single time and I do pretty well in them. But again guys that was basically pretty much it and I hope you guys have an amazing day. And also don't forget to comment down below any class ideas you have for Yoda or your class loadouts for him. But I'll see you guys in my next video and peace guys.